Hi, Stratton. I have a story for you today. It's a story about odd numbers. Odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided evenly by two. This story is called One Odd Day, and it's by Doris Fisher and Danny Sneed. The illustrations are by Karen Lee, and I want you to watch the illustrations because on the pictures, they're going to hide some odd numbers in there. Okay, let's get started. One odd day. Wake up, the alarm clock rang next to my head. It looked mighty odd as I tumbled from bed. The clock had just odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, followed by odd numbers nine and eleven. I put on one sock and found one stinky shoe pulled on my old jeans and a shirt that was new. What a surprise! I discovered three sleeves. One hung down my back as I hurried to leave. I gulped down my breakfast of burnt toast and eggs, while Princess, my dog, danced a jig on five legs. With three legs in the front, she did not look the same. She still wagged her tail when I called out her name. Here's your lunch, Mom reminded. There's no time to fuss. Grab seven bananas and go catch the bus. I bounced on polka dot bus number nine, thinking my class in school would look fine. I stared as the calendar crawled up the wall. It only had odd days, no even at all. In math class, we learned from our teacher, Miss Dodd, that numbers called even are found between odd. What great news, I thought, going outside to play. Tomorrow will not be so odd like today. At home, I was eager for bedtime that night, hoping the next day my world would be right. And when I woke up, there were two stinky shoes. Princess had four legs. My odd day was through. But wait, now my room has six doors and eight beds. Today must be even. My mom has two heads. Oh my goodness, that would be really weird to wake up and have your mom have two heads. Okay, this is the end of my story, but if, you, if you're if you interested, you could pause the page right here because they have some more information. They have some activities, some things to read. So if you're interested in some more things about this story, you could go ahead and maybe read that with your grown-up. Okay, hope you're doing well. I miss you. Bye.